product description. First we have the setup of the laser frame that is lifted by four support blocks. The linear track actuator is bolted to the frame on both sides. The block table with three platforms is positioned beneath it and is also bolted to the frame at two positions. The squeegee is attached to the linear track actuator to run along the surface of the block table which is supported by four adjustable legs. Stepper motors are bolted under the block as well, with wires running from them to remote control in order to adjust the level of the chamber platforms. Procedure The first step is to set up the block table. Using a level, adjust the legs as needed to align the table horizontally. Make sure that the table is bolted properly onto the frame. The same goes for the linear track actuator. The powder is added to the outer feeder chambers and spread out onto the built middle chamber in 50 micron increments using the linear track actuator and remote control. Once this is completed, the track actuator distributes the powder to the built chamber until a smooth finish is satisfactory. The laser is calibrated to its origin above the built chamber. The valve is opened on the argon tank and the tip of the attached tube is pointed towards the build chamber surface at a distance of 2 inches from the laser. The laser is turned on and the 2D CAD is drawn onto the powder. The laser is moved away once completed. The middle chamber is once again lowered by 50 microns and the process repeats until the part is complete. When the experiment is finished, the table is dismounted from the frame and excess powder is blown away. 